So here's our first one. 3x cubed minus 24. 3 and 24, neither one of those can be broken into a number that you can go something times something times something is 3. Not a nice whole number anyways. But when I divide by 3, I now have something where I can go xxx and 2, 2, 2, which would be equivalent to that portion of the expression. So this is going to be a difference of cubes. Remember, this is always positive. In this case, this is negative subtraction. If this is subtraction, then this is positive. Bring down 1x and 1, 2. 2x two is left over. 2, 2 is left over. x times 2 is 2x. That's the first problem. The second problem is x to the fourth plus 7x cubed plus 12x squared. I can take out a maximum of 2x's, and once I factor that out, I'd be left with x squared plus 7x plus 12. Now I'm going to look at this part of the expression. What multiplies to give you 12 and adds or subtracts to give you 7? x plus 3 and x plus 4. Okay, next one, 16, bless you, 16x to the fourth minus 121y to the fourth. Because this breaks into 4 times 4 and 11 times 11, because they're perfect squares and I have subtraction, that's one reason I can go down further. The other reason is this breaks into 2 and 2. It splits in half equally. So this becomes 4x squared, 4x squared and 11y squared and 11y squared. One is positive, one is negative. A lot of students want to take this portion and go further. There's only one reason why you can't, and it's because 11 is not a perfect square. This is your final answer. The last problem on the front page. What can I take out of the first two? This is factoring by grouping. I can take out a maximum of x squared. I'd be left with x plus 1. Okay, I copy and paste that x plus 1, putting a little question mark in front. What time is x is x? Positive 1, and is 1 times 1 and 1? Is 1 times 1, 1 it is. The front and back, back both have an x plus 1. This is in front of the first parenthesis, and this is in front of the second parenthesis.